about you? I'm Hank. Today we're doing a follow-up on a video that you guys ask about all the time. The 310. Now before I get into this video, I actually want to tell you about a channel that I've been getting into lately. My buddy Michael over at Budget Builds. He's a YouTuber and he's a mechanic. And he does some great projects. He's got a Porsche that he's doing, or Porsche, depending on what part of the country you're from. <laughs> he's got a dirt bike he's doing. He's got an old VW Rabbit truck that he's doing. He's got a lot of cool projects. I'd love for you to go over there and subscribe to his channel, Budget Builds, B-U-I-L-D-Z. And I'll leave a link to his channel right here in this card. Go check him out and tell him Hamiltonville Farm sent you. All right, let's get back to this 310 here. What are we doing, Tommy? I'm gonna pump up the fuel. Get... Yeah, you gotta prime that. It's got a hand prime on it. And so we know we've, if you remember some of our other videos, we put a new fuel filter on it, so that's good. And he'll get it primed up here. I also know from previous videos that we've checked the fluids and everything's good enough to at least get it cranked up and ready to go. Let's go over here and hook the battery up and see. Let me show you part of this fuel pump that we changed out that we think might help us then i'll tell you a problem we have with it so this is the little solenoid switch or the solenoid on top of the fuel pump here so this is actually a good one but the problem with that is now we're not getting any voltage to that so we're going to try to chase some wires to see if we're getting some voltage to that new solenoid that we just put on there or that they put on it i wasn't around when they put it on but so we'll see if we can figure out where the grounding issue is or where the short is for that solenoid and if we can fix that maybe that'll fix our problem huh this thing this ain't been a thorn in our side come on so we're gonna unplug it and see if we can trace the wires there you go for some reason, we're not getting power to that pigtail right there, and that wiring harness goes. I mean, this thing's been, it may have been chewed up by some doggone rodents or whatever. Tommy, you need a sharper knife. <laughs> so a lot of you made comments. Of course, the fuel priming the system and fuel filters and fuel pumps have been all comments that you've made. But a lot of you made comments about running a wire to another battery and trying it out that way, doing the, the electrical source to the actual, kind of like straight wiring it, I guess you would say. So we're going to try that and see if that helps or see if that does anything for us. And so we've got some bare spots in the wire. And so Tommy's just going to hook it up. Tommy, you ever done anything like this before? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Maybe once or twice. <laughs> So while we're trying to get this done, I don't know if you can see the sky behind me, but uh, we're about to get rained on here any minute now, so we need to hurry up and get this thing done. I believe he's going to get it, though. A lot of years of knowledge in that brain of yours, Tommy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm beginning to think I can't do <laughs> No. You probably forgot. Well, I know you forgot more than I've ever learned. To be honest with you. Yeah, I forgot a lot. All right, old as you get. <laughs> I hear you. Here's the ends to the ones we just got. So let me go get another battery. It's in here somewhere. Here we go. So we'll hook up, we'll hook these up to the battery here. Well, maybe. Let's see. We'll have to scan them back a little bit, Tommy. When I was in the Air Force, 26 years, by the way, they issued me this Leatherman. I was probably supposed to give it back when I retired. <laughs> but I carry this thing all the time. You guys got a multi-tool you guys carry? I love this thing. You know, we're getting this thing kind of cobbled together. A lot of you make comments about you need to add a this, and you need to bring a this, and a lot of you got more money than I do. <laughs> a lot of you like spending my money. 
<laughs> oh lord so we just make do with what we got around here i know there's a lot of you watching this video right now that are like that you know you got stuff in your backyard and you're like hey i'll make it work that's the american spirit right there make it work as i say that tommy brings out a look at that oh, i'm getting all high tech on me here and we're starting to get sprinkled on here we got this on here with a brass terminal and then we got this by script on and hopefully that holds <laughs> hopefully that holds together all right fire it up and see what happens Ooh. that battery don't sound good all right let's put some jumper cables on all right temple so he had me looking for these jumper cables all over the place and here they are in the driver's seat all right let's hook these cables up uh, did you put them over there I don't remember. <laughs> you done lost your mind. You're starting to lose your memory. I must, I must have reached over and got them when I got out. I guess I did. Yeah, probably. That's two bad boys up. He actually went and got some high dollar cables. That ca that handle's bent, Tommy. Mm -hmm. I said that handle's bent. 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 All right, you want me to cut the truck on? I ain't got, I got the key in my hand. Oh. Hey, well, here, you want me to get my, you want me to get my JD? <laughs> A lot of you guys also say put WD-40 in it instead of starting fluid. Well, we use liquid wrench here. Not sponsored by the way, but I love their products. That's all we use is liquid wrench. So we're going to try that for some starting fluid if we can't get this thing to work here. Yeah, I'll, I'll hold on. Yeah, I'll pull and see if it makes put tension on it here. Liquid wrench, the. I ain't doing that. That didn't work too good. How about some Polar Premium starting fluid with upper cylinder lubricant? A lot of you guys were talking about how not having the WD 40 would lubricate the cylinder. Well, this evidently has lubricant in it. Man, you hear that thing knocking when it you hear that thing knocking when it starts? When you do that. Yeah, yeah. Lock it up put too much in. I know it. <laughs> One of our assumptions is that we didn't skin enough back on the wire, so what Tommy's doing now is skinning more, kind of making a cleaner connection. And maybe that will help some some as well. But this thing probably needs to be primed. That's just, you know, so it's going to take a while for it to fire up anyway. What's that look like, fellas? <laughs> oh my goodness gracious. Think we're getting wet over there? <laughs> Y'all don't see me right now, but I'm covering the uh, camera with my hand. You guys recognize that thing? You know, you see this behind me. Remember that video that we did with this thing? That was pretty cool. So we're actually trying to, you know, go in between showers on fixing this thing. And I'm telling you, it's it's rains for 30 minutes. It stops for for two or three minutes and then it rains for 30 minutes and so it really stinks because you just can't get anything going to get this daggum backhoe started up you know so we thought to ourselves maybe if we chase some of these wires down we looked at the weather today it was 20 percent chance of rain <laughs> well you know i wish we could all be the weatherman right i wish we could all be like our job or we could be wrong and still get paid for it right uh i'd be a really good mechanic if that was the case so <laughs> but anyway so we've got we got rain in the forecast all week but i at least wanted to give you guys an update so what we're going to do now is we're going to head back over to the 310 we're going to um talk about it just a little more and then uh go from there well we're trying to fight in between the showers ain't we 
Yeah. <laughs> it's doing it pretty good. Yeah. So listen, we've been out here a while now, and it just don't show no signs of it. It'll it'll stop for like two minutes, and then it'll stop start again. And so we just uh, giving up for today. It's I'm telling you, this thing is aggravating. It's been a thorn in our side, but um, I at least wanted to give you guys an update. I know we failed at it, and we. I, there's a lot of things that we did that we didn't film because of the rain so we try to do a lot of stuff in the rain so you know in your comments you'd be like you should have tried this you should have tried that maybe we did it this didn't get filmed because we're trying not to get my camera wet so anyway make sure you check out budget builds that's a my friend michael his, with his youtube channel he does great work i'm gonna link my little white circle here for subscribing and then underneath it i'm gonna put a circle here and that's gonna be michael's channel go check it out budget builds i think you'll like it a lot you guys take care. God bless.